Supreme Court is set to hear a North Carolina gerrymandering case on Tuesday, which could change the way that Congress handles redistricting across the country. One America's Jacob DeMille has more. So this is Laurel Street, um, and down Laurel Street is the congressional line that separates the 6th district um, of Mark Walker and the 13th district of Ted Budd. Kyla Guyan, a sophomore at North Carolina A&T University, stands between two congressional districts that split her campus in half. While Greensboro, North Carolina is a Democrat-majority city, both districts representing it are run by Republicans. Guyon is currently a fellow with the nonprofit organization Common Cause, which is suing Senator Robert Ruscio, who was in charge of redistricting for South Carolina in 2016, over what it believes was unconstitutional gerrymandering during the 2016 congressional elections. The case will be heard by the U.S. Supreme Court Tuesday in North Carolina. The upcoming decision will have nationwide implications for how congressional districts will be drawn in the future. Under current U.S. law, gerrymandering congressional districts in order to give a particular party an electoral advantage is legal, which is what happened in North Carolina during the 2016 congressional elections. However, the political group's Common Cause and the League of Women Voters, both plaintiffs in the case, believe the gerrymandering that occurred in the state in 2016 violated the Constitution. Specifically, Common Cause argues political gerrymandering violates people's right to free speech. The reason that the citizens should care about what the Supreme Court does in the political gerrymandering cases is that those cases will turn on a fundamental principle, which is that our decisions about important things, like district lines, are going to be done by courts or commissions, or are they going to be done by the people's elected representatives? In addition, North Carolina's League of Women Voters claims the 2016 redistricting violated the 14th Amendment, which gives every citizen equal protection under the law. The League of Women Voters claims the districts in North Carolina were changed to disenfranchise African American voters. The Supreme Court has found redistricting based on race would violate the Constitution. However, the defendants claim they were never given data regarding race when deciding the districts. Last August, a three-judge panel in North Carolina ruled political redistricting was illegal and ordered new districts to be redrawn. However, the U.S. Supreme Court accepted an appeal from Republicans on the basis that redrawing districts would be disastrous for the then-upcoming 2018 elections. Now the case is going before the Supreme Court, and the court's decision could change how congressional redistricting is done in the future. If the court rules political gerrymandering to be unconstitutional, it will change the way congressional redistricting is done across the nation. However, if they vote that political gerrymandering does not violate the First Amendment, then the process will largely remain the same when the census is finished in 2020. The Supreme Court is expected to come to a decision on Common vs. Rousseau this summer. Jacob DeMille, One America News. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One America News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One America News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.